Welcome to Vigo! This place oh is spam, but it does not speak Spanish. They have their own language called, I don't know the name. <laughs> we are now on Puerto del Sol. Should have paid attention in Spanish class. So, a restaurant, and they are known for paella and squid, fresh squid catch every day. Paella is basically fried rice, but Spanish is seafood fried rice, which is very tasty. I'm following my nose. Cello, is this the one? This, this is, is the one. Shot. This is the one. This is beautiful. This is awesome. Go, yes. Cello. <laughs> we just had our first Spanish meal in this old town Vigo. It is beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Some octopus and apparently rabbit got some beef. Is it beef? Yeah, it was beef. Yeah. <laughs> Our first adventure in Spain. <laughs> is this the old town road? <laughs> I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna. Right. No more. <laughs> While we were at the Lisbon, uh, around the Lisbon port, um, at night I watched this movie. It's called Night Train to Lisbon, which is part of the. Holland America Cruise Movie Collection. It is a movie from uh, 2013. And I have to say that um, the in, inside that movie, the shots were so uh, close to reality that I feel like I already been to Lisbon once because I watched the movie uh, beforehand. It's a really good movie and I highly recommend it. The first thing that struck me was how many beautiful tiled walls there were. Portugal is known, especially Lisbon is known for the uh, egg tart. And me and Ben went across the city, took two taxi rides just to get a taste of the OG egg tart. <laughs> I've never been so happy as when I've eaten this. Congratulations. Uh -huh. And this is why. And she'll be like, yeah, let's get over. Go another pole. Have they always been like this? Yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs> oh. That makes my heart sore. What's not there anymore? Oh no! So while we were in Lisbon, we got to see the San de Justo lift, um, which is also called the Carmo lift. So you can see this lift from the Rua de San de Justa. Um, it's a beautiful shopping street and uh, lots of beautiful restaurants. <laughs> Yeah, we got to the this piece is called 
Ariana Cabeza, and it's actually part of our um, La Musica Latina program, which we perform a lot when we play this game. So that was the crazy line for St. George's Castle. It was built in the first century BC, and it's relatively all intact. We got to climb up all the walls. We could see where some of the bathhouses used to be. I remember this castle to be having amazing city view and also they have wild peacocks. I really miss Lisbon for its food, for its architecture, and general a city as a whole. It just feels really nice. Barcelona was my favorite city. There was so much to do and we needed to get tickets far, far in advance and we did not. <laughs> so there's just so much to see um, that we didn't get to see yet. And, but just wandering around the streets, like you can feel how much character is in this city. I think it's beautiful, but Overwhelming and underwhelming at the same time. You heard it first from Cello Glow. You see, it takes 137 years. And here we are, still construction. Probably until we die, it will still be under construction. They say they will finish very soon. But I guess they say that since 1950s. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah. We were gonna go into this church, but just by looking at the size of the public, uh, the size of the crowds, we decided not to. Which is so worth it because the color design of that concert hall with all the lighting passed through the colorful glasses, it was really uh, something. What are we doing? We're taking a Spanish tour. <laughs> We're taking a Spanish tour. <laughs> we didn't understand anything on this tour. <laughs> I wanted to go there just for once to an afternoon concert. We were so lucky that we did go. We were having workers there so we could actually hear the acoustics. 